So it's about time Lilith has finally given us an update to the transmutation or the reroll system for armaments. This has been in the works now for almost three months. So I really don't know why it took them this long or why they announced it so early, but we're going to go over it today. And man, I hope you've been saving your good inscriptions and armaments because this is, this is a big one. First things first, you probably noticed it might be a little different camera angle. Um, I thought it might be a little better than the side view. Uh, you could see my, my full face. I don't have proper lighting here. As you can see, half my face is not lit and half my face is lit. Um, but we're trying something out and, and hopefully it works. Maybe my head is too big, maybe it's too small, um, but whatever. We're, we're going with it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but to continue, we have the armament transmutation announcement that Lilith just sent out to its players. Uh, not a very long update, as you can see, it's relatively short, um, but it does have a few important things that I want to go over and some things that were not mentioned when they first announced this system. So let's hop into it. Okay, so first things first, it's just a really big, basic overview of the armament system um, and what the transmutation system is that if you missed the last update, uh, it kind of explains it here. So it says, what are the main functions of the transmutation system? And the answer is this system allows you to re-randomize, keyword, so you don't choose <laughs> your existing armament attributes. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, the next question is, does re-randomization apply to single attribute or multiple attributes? This is actually pretty big, and, and I like this aspect of the system. Uh, you may choose to lock one or two attributes or none at all. Locked attributes will not be re-randomized after re-randomization. Wow, there's a lot of R's in this sentence. You may choose to keep the old attribute or apply the new attribute. So let me just walk through this really quickly. Let's go into my armaments here. Um, this would be a really good example of one that I would like to lock to, but not lock the other ones, right? So infantry attack 3.2% is a fantastic roll on a double um, inscription armament for infantry, right? I don't want siege and I don't want march speed. So what I would do is I would lock the infantry attack and then just reroll these two and hopefully get some infantry stats. Um, probably won't happen, but that's what the system is, right? Uh, if we continue here, does this system only change armament attributes? Can it also change the inscriptions? God, I hope not. <laughs> um, and they give the answer. So the system will only re-randomize armament attributes and everything else will remain unchanged. Great. Therefore, we recommend that you hold on to your armaments with good inscriptions, uh, but poor attributes so you can re-randomize the attributes when the system goes live. This is very self-explanatory, very basic. Um, you don't have to worry about your inscriptions being changed and those legendary inscriptions. Um, when this armament system rolls around, so you're good to go. Does changing armament attributes require items? Yes, it does. Uh, as, of course, right, the, this whole system of this game is to get currency to do things, right? And I'm sure there's going to be a bundle that comes out because it's Lilith and that's going to be how it works. Maybe even a daily bundle, but we'll see. Um, changing arch, uh, armament attributes requires specific items and the locking of attributes will affect the number of items required. This uh, the items can obtain through armament shops and events. So when they last came out with this face-to-face -face with the developers that talked a lot about this system, they mentioned that there would be ways to purchase it in the KVK shop. They mentioned that obviously some events will come around that you'll be able to get this reward for. Um, and then obviously the armament shop. So I'm not sure how abundant this thing will be. Um, I hope it's really abundant because, man, you know, just because you re-roll an armament does not mean you're gonna get a good one. In fact, most likely you're not gonna get good rerolls because it is still random. So I really hope that we get these a lot. And obviously um, we, we continue on here, but you can only do it a certain amount of times and that's where this next question comes in. Um, does this feature work for all armaments? This feature is only available for inscribed legendary armaments and each armament can only be transmuted up to 10 times. And so this is where I was kind of surprised. Um, that it's only inscribed legendaries and maybe not epics. But if we go into an inscribed legendary or maybe something that um, I would not be able to reroll. So inscribed legendary like this. I mean, I'd never reroll this anyway, but this is a non inscribed legendary armament and I could not change the attributes of this armament, right? I could, however, just using this example again, change this one. I don't really know why they wouldn't allow you to change armaments because let's say this health instead of 1.8 infantry health was archer health and i had two great rolls of infantry stats i think it would be beneficial if i could just re-roll this last 
you know, trait as well, but they, for whatever reason, don't think that that's a good idea. Um, I guess I would just have to guess and, and, and you know, play the lottery system by putting an, ar or an, an inscription on this armament and then re-rolling it. So I don't really know what the reasoning for that is, but they did it. And then the last one is uh, you can only do it 10 times. So my initial gut reaction was like, why would you limit it? armament to, to 10 times that makes no sense right because there's a very high chance realistically that in 10 rolls you will still not get a good um stat for your troop type and i was like why would they do this why can't they just release a system that's good without limitations and i was like okay well i was talking to some people and they were like well kane if you could do it unlimited amount of times then people would stop getting new armaments um if you could just have one and then just continue to re-roll and re-roll and re-roll so that would basically mean that no one would buy the armament bundles, and it makes sense. It's greedy, um, but it does make sense that if you basically just... You would just have to get all the armaments that you would need to fill up all your slots, and then you just constantly reroll. It does make sense that you can only do it 10 times. I do feel like 10's a little low. I might double that to 20, just because of the randomization aspect. But yeah, that, that's, that's just my opinion. And then lastly, and this is the big one, when will the system go live? The system is currently under optimization and is expected to be available in July. Wow, God, it's only going to be about five months since they announced it. So it is finally coming out. I think with this system also comes the fact that you will be able to gem travels, which if you go into your, where is it, the state forum, you know, you can travel for 20 AP. Um, when they initially announced this, they said that you will be able to travel for a certain amount of gems they never specified the amount of gems but i don't imagine it'll be much i mean maybe 20 gems or 10 gems if it's anything like 100 gems it's just a complete ripoff but um anyway it's going to be here in in july so yeah let me know what you think guys i i am finally finally i mean so excited that this is going to be here i've got like the armament that i showed you a ton that i would like to reroll in fact i can go over a few more of them <laughs> if we just look at these right i have uh I believe some double, yeah, so that one I already, I already saw, but this one, um, so just the <laughs> crazy, crazy inscriptions, the double inscriptions, um, but it's only got 1.7% attack. I would obviously like to do something with this. I also have the um, a bunch with Breaker on them. I can't see them now, of course. But yeah, so Breaker, this is a really, really good inscription. Uh, reducing the defense of your target is fantastic. I think I have, yeah, one, two, I have three of these. I want to put these on all my marches. They're fantastic. So hopefully I can do something with that. Um, these are, are a little less good, but for infantry, I really want to make this into an infantry set instead of having this on my city garrison, which doesn't get used much anyway, because this inscription is crazy for Guan Yu, right? Ac activating his expertise that does more damage. Um, so anyway, you know, just I, I have a ton that I want to do this with. And finally, 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 they're releasing it to the game. It only took them or five months so that wraps it up for this video let me know what you think about these changes and, and obviously this patch coming in the future i think it's really important and a really important change for the game i know that the armament system still i mean sucks <laughs> depending on who you ask um but if you're not like a degenerate gambler i feel like you're not super happy with the system um but again let me know what you think in the comments please leave a like and, and sub uh more content's coming down the line and i will talk to you guys later peace out